It's a project that has been ongoing for decades, an effort to reopen what is known as the Old East Pass. The Bay County Commissioners voted this morning to proceed with the permitting process to finally get that project underway. As News 13's Jay Coulter tells us, many locals expressed support for reopening the pass. I've seen the effects of the old pass being open. You're saying, does it flush the lagoon out? A hundred percent it does. For years, many locals have been pushing the county to reopen the Old East Pass into St. Andrews Bay. The Old Pass was originally the only entrance into the bay in the early 1900s. After the government built the pass at St. Andrews State Park, the Old East Pass slowly began filling in. Storms have reopened it over the years, but not for long. 20 years ago, the county dredged, but did not stabilize it with rocks. It filled within a few months. During Wednesday's meeting, a consultant presented the results of a feasibility study. Commissioners voted to accept the findings and move forward with the permitting process and environmental studies. Opening the Old Pass helps with the exchange of the fresh seawater in our bay system keeping our bay alive. The location will be slightly different from the original East Pass. It will also be larger and deeper to keep it hydraulically stable. Supporters say there are a number of good reasons for the project. That old pass, it helps the entire bay system from West Bay, North Bay, East Bay, all that. It just gives it so much more breathing room uh, for to get rid of all that fresh water, all that dirty water from the runoff. It's not being soaked up anymore. You've got another pass, you've got another way, you've got a boat that's got a problem, got a passenger on board, got a crew member, whatever. Coast Guard has another access to get there quicker than going around the curve to get to it. And, you know, there's all types of benefits. It won't be a quick project. Commissioners anticipate it will take up to three years to secure the permits. In Bay County, Jay Coulter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. County officials also say that they have not secured the money to perform the actual dredging work. Now,